one question I often get asked is, will I be successful in sixth grade choir? Well, there's one test that we can do to see if you will be successful. First, I want you to take your hand and put it on your chest. Go ahead, go ahead and do it. There we go. Uh, are we all doing it? Good. Okay, now that you're there, I'd like for you all to go, ho, 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 ho. Do you feel that vibration on your chest? That's your chest voice. That's not the voice that we're going to emphasize during sixth grade. That's the voice we're really going to look at during seventh and eighth grade. Now do this. Woo-hoo! Woo-hoo! hoo As long as there was no vibration, so you didn't feel any vibration, that's your head voice. During sixth grade, we're going to make sure that you developed a solid head voice during elementary music. So if you can do that, woo-hoo! And with ease and no vibration in the chest, you will be successful in sixth grade choir. One of the other great questions I get is, what will we do in choir? So you've gone from having music probably once or twice a week, maybe three times a week if you're lucky in elementary school, and now you're gonna have it five days a week. So what do we do every single day? Well, one, we learn fundamentals of music. There are so many interesting aspects of music that we have to learn so that we can become better musicians. So every day we will learn something about music and how it relates to our other subjects we learn in school. In addition, we're gonna work on our voice every single day. It's our job to improve this instrument that we have, that we've been given. And so as a whole and as a group, we will work to create a beautiful sound by improving our instruments every single day. Because in the end, our goal is to not only show the public that we can produce beautiful music, but it's also for us to become better musicians and to use both sides of our brain, right and left. What games do we play in choir? That's a really good question. So one, if we get all of our work done throughout, throughout the entire week, that means we got our singing goals done, we got our bell ringers done, so we've learned our materials, then we'll usually do Karaoke Friday, which is where we'll pull on some karaoke jams and we'll get to hear some folks' talent or as a class, share and sing a song all together. So we'll just enjoy music. Some other things that we'll do are sight reading games, which are one of my favorites, but that's from a teacher aspect. Uh, so I love all those um, various singing games or some clapping games that we'll learn that'll go along with some of the musical elements that we will learn. And then finally, one of our favorite games to play in class is Tarzan the Monkey Man, which is almost like a hot potato game with some balls and different things happening. So um, I hope to see you next year and I hope I get to play those games with you in the fall. One question that you may have is, will we get to go on any trips? Will we sing anywhere? Well, I would let you know that as a sixth grader, we go in December to go on a caroling tour around town and we sing for uh, the educational center, which is our district offices. In the spring, I like to take you to a singing competition either at Frontier City in Oklahoma City or to Six Flags. Uh, Six Flags has been the most popular one that we do on a normal basis, but that is our one that we'll do every year. So as long as there's no COVID, then we will get to get out of the building and go and perform at different places. I'm sorry I'm not able to come to each of your campuses and meet you individually, but I look forward to seeing you in the fall next year at Barwise Middle School. Make sure that when you do your schedules with your counselors, you make choir your first choice. So when they ask you about your fine arts choice, it's choir, and I'll see you next year.